Hello everybody, welcome back to my let's play of Dungeon Siege. We're on our way to Stonebridge. And as we're going along, we're searching through the devastation that the Krog had made after their revolt. I guess that's what you could call it. Wonder who's behind this revolt. They're probably not smart enough to do this themselves. Hmm, there's a cave here. You never know what a cave could hold for you. Except maybe a big bear. That's some strong hit points, but luckily he's not that powerful of an attacker. I actually want to fight this bear because he drops something that's pretty nice. A lot of the loot you get in this game is random, but some some enemies actually have a predestined loot thing to get you. I could have hit him. Good. See, I grabbed my first blue item. Now, blue items. There's some more code here. Blue items usually have nice defenses on them. And the more defenses on them to turn purple and gold and stuff like that, they get special things on there. But this one now gives me defense of 10, which is 7 more than tatted leather, but also 5 plus the health. Good trade off. I mean, good trade in. So that's a good piece of item to get. That bear always drops it, so it's always a good idea to find this cave and get it. destroy these boxes. And just some gold, but a little bit of gold goes a long way. Grrr. Now, you see this one up here, the Frack Ballista? He has a kind of a, like, line around him. That signifies that it's a boss. They're special ones, and they give you better loot and stuff. Ah, my health is getting low because I increase in strength. So I think now my health has increased since I got... I went up in strength. I could actually hit them. There we go. Ooh, a hammer. That's actually very good uh, defense on here. So you see, if my melee damage is 7 to 11. 11 to 16. Much better now. My health has gone up since I uh, increased my strength. Got that dog. There's probably another snapper or two in here. It's always a good idea just to kill as many enemies as you can because they give you XP and you could get leveled up and you never know, you could get some more gold and stuff which allows you to purchase better stuff in the future. And this farmer's dead, but it looks like he took out a club in this fight. Yeah, he was probably tending his farms because he had a pitchfork on him. Now there was a movie of uh, Dungeon Siege called uh, In the Name of a King at Dungeon Siege Tell. But it was a new Bowl movie. If you know that name, you know that it was probably pretty bad. Known for making really bad adaptions to video games because they're not even like the video game. They had some characters and locations that they mentioned in um, Dungeon Siege, but it was really bad. It had bad writing, bad acting, and just a stupid plot. 
which is sad too because they had some great uh, actors in it. John Reese davies Jason Stainham, Ron Perlman, Burt Reynolds, uh, Ray Loyota. I mean, very good actors, but it's such a bad movie. I kind of expected that from him, but it's not as bad as Max Payne, I'll let me tell you. That movie pissed me off. And I won't go into that here. Let's wait for the Max Payne re uh, let's play before I do that. Hmm, this house seems relatively intact. Let's see if there's anything in there. Oh, he's still alive. Looks like he's been through a lot, though. He has a cut on them. I should have guessed you'd be cleaving your way to Stonebridge to find out what's got the Krug all stirred up. If you could spare a few minutes to help an old neighbor before you go, I have a favor to ask. Um, why is my guy frozen like that? He's frozen in the pose. When I realized the Krug were actually attacking us, I tried to get to the safety of my cellar, but they had a little welcome party waiting for me. If you need any supplies for the long trek to Stonebridge, and wouldn't mind clearing out the remaining Krug downstairs, you can help yourself to whatever you need from my stalls. Okay. I can tell you never been in RPG world before because I don't need your permission. I'll do it anyways. As you see, we got since it's glowing, that means we got a new quest or a change in our quest. Desires is just to clear Edgar's basement. Yeah, mouse wheel actually zooms in and out, so sometimes it's actually kind of useful, or if you want to see how your person looks. That's one thing I like about RPGs is when you equip your people and you can see how they look. Let's see if there's anything in here. Sometimes you step on elevators and they automatically go down. Some of them are activated by switch. And we got another boss here, Branker the Scavenger. Huh. Just some stuff. Chuck. Ooh, if I remember correctly, that's a good weapon. No, it is it. Never mind. I was thinking of a hack. One cloud that's weak. So I imagine bone actually makes a very good weapon because it's so hardy. I mean, you think it make a good weapon if you use it hard enough? Leech life. That one sucks the life force out of that enemy. I can turn on this torch. Yay! And here we go. And as you can see, our quest is done. So we could now head back up and talk to Edgar again. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Crap. Well, if I wanted to move this down, I could just activate that brick. There's certain items and stuff. He's, he's hanging in there. That lever also could activate it. Hatchet. Oh, that's really weak. One to two damage. I like how sometimes they just hang on there. This if this was a ragdoll physics game. He'll be doing all these weird things or just fall off of it. But this was before ragdoll really started out. I think Hitman was one of the first games to ever use it. Let's see what he gets us. thanks for clearing out the Krog. If they're coming after farmers in our own homes, I don't doubt you'll battle many more on your journey to Stonebridge. You'd best be on your way. Watch out for yourself, and don't worry about me. I have enough supplies in the cellar to keep me going until this blows over. Now there is some voiced uh, talking uh, dialogue scenes in here. 
But there are some points where there is no voices, so I'll have to do my bad voice acting again. So. Thankfully, not as much as in, um, Teen Agent. Because that can kind of wear on the throat a bit. More and more Krug and cracks. Hopefully Stonebridge isn't that far away. I mean, you guys actually the farmer uh, farms for Stonebridge, so probably not that far from there. Ah, level two melee skill now. Was well, I eleven to sixteen skill am, but. But it helps out with other things, so... Mage? Well, Prentice, but... They use magic. I thought these species isn't too bright. How do they... How could they use magic? Something's not right here. Kind of branches off here. Another cave. Looks like the Krug have been using it. And there's another boss there, Clanding the Krug. Thick leather. Defense 10. Yeah, I don't need to worry about that right now. Has the same defense as my current one, but I have ten uh, plus five to health, which is a good bonus. So, go ahead, try to attack me. No, you can't, cause you're dead. Something dropped here. I didn't see what it was. Common hammer. Yeah, the common hammer is actually a weaker version of this one. So, I was lucky I got the hammer when I did because it's a good weapon. Looks kind of cool too. Yeah. Looks like the Thor uh, forest is getting a little thicker. It's getting darker. It's starting to rain here too. Of course it's not raining here in Colorado currently because we've been dry lately. Snow's coming this weekend though, so hopefully we need it. The ski resorts need it here. <laughs> That's a big part of income here in Colorado. Trying to go for the Winter Olympics at some point. So we need to have snow. <laughs> Where is that from? Oh, well, there he is. Must have been up here somewhere. Guess we're nearing the bridge. And. Yeah, that bridge seems to be taken out. Let's see what Skartis says. Damn fool Krug. I knew they was none too bright, but today I seen everything. They torched this here bridge, and then said to drive in a wagon caravan across while it was still a burning. Now the only way to Stonebridge is that a ways, and that means going through the old crypts to the road beyond. You ain't gonna catch me going that way. Ah, come on. Where's your sense of adventure? Okay, 
the quest got updated telling us that we need to go through the crypts. Before we do that, the performance, let's go this way first. Now we're, attacked, we're being attacked by gray wolves now. There we go. Because up on the other side of here is some gold on this little path. 24. 24 is not bad. We got 381 gold now. They added some nice atmosphere to this. Like, see the caravan down there. <laughs> also, this game has some good music in it. Um, it's done by Jeremy Soule, who's also known for doing music to like the last three Elder Scrolls, uh, Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim. It's a very good video game composer. Some good music and tracks on there. This uh, soundtrack has some memorable music in it. I like the main theme. Also, when you're in this fortress later on, you it has a nice song in there. Good battle music at some points too. Uh, wolves are just walking along, and then they're ambushing me. Being attacked by three wolves. Fun. Here's the crypts that way, but let's see. What is this? It's like a Stonehenge thing. Hmm. It's like it could heal me or something. I'm being attacked by a wo uh, wolf um, boss. Now you see, since I'm standing on this, I'm not taking much damage. Well, I am, but it's getting healed instantly. This is a healing uh, shrine area. You find things that could give you instant heals or mana throughout the land area, so it's kind of a nice thing to look out for. Looks like they have a clean up camp here. There's not that many Krug here right now, but I have a feeling these are remnants that went through Stonebridge and decided to to farm lines as well. Old Stonebridge is still standing. But it's a city, so by Legionnaires how they so. Legionnaires are good fighters. Oh, I got level other gloves. Since I didn't have any, I automatically equipped them. Equipped them. So defense two. I heard something. this way but hmm what's this way some kind of statue there it lights up when I curse her over it so that means it must do something and that's a kind of eerie sound let's let's uh, take these guys out all right 
Oh, Pixie gave me to get the mana. You'll find pixies and fairies around. Uh, they give you those kind of things. Um, back in the early version of this game, uh, they used to do have a bug where they would keep on shooting them at you. Like a machine gun. And then if you continue on, the world basically ends. It doesn't load up and so you had to load back to earlier point. It patches later fixed it, but that was kind of annoying, but... Alright, um, before we interact with this statue, I will end this video here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.